So we live. Live? Okay. That's good. Okay. Hey, Shalom. Uh, first off, we'd like to give all praise to Yahweh. Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Bachach, We'd like to give double honors to our apostles of GMS. We'd like to give a double honors to our Connecticut brothers, our elders of GMS also. Uh, brings and salutations to the brothers in this country and all over the world who are prophesying in the true name, not what you ignorantly call God and Christ, but the true name of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, which is the power of the nation of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? So yeah, with this show, as you can see through the, with the title, it reads, um, A Conspiracy, uh, Conspiracy, I always forget, Conspiracies, um, Control, nah, Conspiracies, uh, Let me see, hold on. Yeah, yeah, uh, my memory is shot. It says Conspiracy Dominates. Yeah, cause like, your Conspiracies history. Dominate Your History, uh, Why Not Now? So, so like you about that? Yeah, so, cause, yeah, Conspiracy Dominates Your History, all right, but why not now? And what we mean by this is that what? Actually, this stems from a video we're watching uh, um, <clears throat> and uh, from Apostle uh, Gabar, which was, was entitled um, Cap The Capitalist Society or something like that, I believe. Uh, the Capitalist Society. Can, you, you saved it real quick, right? Can you get that title for me real quick? Bubba Shah, if you, if you can. Um, it was a, it was, it was, it's, this video was basically inspired by a video that Apostle Gabar was talking about. And especially in the times that we're in now, then with the RFID chip, you know, uh, talking about the, the, the fake and naughty, big brother, the Zionist, or the New World Order, the international bankers, okay? Uh, this is what we're in. So basically, the, this, this title proves that what? Yeah. That conspiracy dominates the history. Why not now? Because in, all, in that video, the brother's about to bring the title out. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you got? The capitalist, that one? The capitalist. Yeah, there's a there's a person's name before it too, like Eddie something, but that's yeah. How long is that? Okay, yeah. It's, what's yeah. the title? <clears throat> it's called yeah, the Capitalist Conspiracy. Yeah, the video uh, Apostle Gabar was talking about is called the Capitalist Conspiracy. Hold um conspiracy on deck etymology. Let's we'll start with that first. Okay. okay. Yeah. So um, the Capitalist Conspiracy, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Come. So in that video, it, it pointed out. Right, like Apostle Bar said, it was a great video. We just look at a little bit of it. That all throughout your history, there's not one single page in your history that does not include a, a, a conspiracy, man. Mm -hmm. And but what you people think about conspiracies totally falls from what the actual word is, and we have the definition here. But again, in all your past kingdoms, during the, during the, I got written down during um, during the reign of Caesar, all your Caesars in the Roman Empire, during the Greek Empire. During the Babylonian Empire, you can pick any empire, any empire, there was conspiracy in each one. Yeah. So why not in this current day? Because you people actually believe when you, you know, in, in the good old America, the demographic or the Democrats or your, the demographic of America, right? You believe that they preach that the people are controlled. That if you make your vote, your, your excuse me, your vote, you you elect your officials and you the people control the government. That's what they preach to you. So when you go out there and vote for your ballot or like puffy dumbass dancing with his little silver suit and saying uh, uh, vote or die, you know, or you got a, a, the Kardashians telling you vote or die and shit like that, but vote for what? You're already dead, but just to keep running on, basically your vote doesn't mean anything, all right? I remember this brother, this brother recently did a show, and it's, it's merely a, a suggestion you people are not in power, all right? You are controlled by some called, so it's called an esoteric society. Or something that's hidden, or so, or a shadow government, okay. And this shadow government is is none other than the, the international banking families, which starts with the Rothschilds, man, okay. And and, and it, which is basically called the New World Order, all right. And they and and we're at that time now. They're about to finish their work, you know. Which is what the RFID chip, the radio frequency identification chip, which is in scriptures as being what known as the. Uh, the mark of the beast. So anyway, without further ado, we'll get the definition. It's on Etam Online. Um, conspiracy is a noun, a plotting of evil, unlawful design, a combination of persons for an evil purpose. Read that again and then um, direct your voice to the camera too. Oh, come you know? It says, uh, a conspiracy is a noun, a plotting of evil, unlawful. Yeah, so a noun first, all right? So it's a person, place, a thing, number one. 
Okay, because people think, see how they teach you in the world, they, you people think it's a conspiracy is like some kind of myth or some kind of spooky story. You know, like it, like it, like it's fake. Mm -hmm. You know, when people get to conspiracy, man, what do you, you know, no, but we're gonna break it down what it means through the spirit. Go ahead, read again. It says a plotting of evil, unlawful design. This is the first sentence. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. A combination of persons for an evil purpose. Okay. Read it again. I'm sorry. Con. It's a conspiracy. A noun. This is a plotting of evil. Unlawful design. Yeah, a plotting of evil. So basically, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a conspiracy. It's a plot, all right, or an idea or a plan, which is a plot, uh, for an evil purpose. Keep going. Unlawful design. A, a unlawful design. So it's it's designed and put together. What, get that script, but um, upon their beds. That's a good one. No, no, you Joe? Don't get it. Joe, yeah, right? You hold that on deck. You know, because this describes an actual scripture, man. Okay. So again, that last sentence. It says, an unlawful design. An unlawful design. So conspiracy consists of a plan or a plot to, to, to break laws, so to speak, or to do something evil. Uh -huh. A combination of, of persons for an evil purpose. A combination of persons for an evil purpose. All right? So, Lord, we'll go through the spirit like we're going to use it in case of point, like the international bankers. All right. Right. And we can we can point out many, many conspiracies or many conspiracies or conspired when they actually put things in the plan. For example, the, uh, the Federal Reserve note. Or the FRNs. OK, your Federal Reserves are basically controlled by the international bankers. All right. It was put into place to over to overthrow your government. Because why? The scriptures were pointing out what the borrower is servant to the lender. So who's ever borrowing the money, you're a slave to the person who lent you the money. Mm -hmm. So all you countries, all these nations that are under, they're under the umbrella of the international bankers in one way or another. All right, and and they have their their servants onto the onto the onto the lender. All right, and the international know that, and it, it all started with the L, the FRNs, man, the Federal. Reserve note that green we got that dollar we were looking at earlier. Yeah. All right, that green dollar, okay, right here. All right, and you 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 people have seen this. There's many breakdowns of the dollar on the internet. Okay, what it means. You have an owl here in the corner. You know, I don't got to go through it. There's many information to break down the dollar, man. And there's spirits on this dollar. You got the all CNI, the pyramid. Okay, right here. All right. Lord will we'll go through all that. But the point is that the FRNs was conspired to be put in place to, or to take over your government, man, to take over your laws. Mm -hmm. It says from Anglo-French cons con conspir conspiracy, old French conspiracy, conspiracy, a plot from Latin, from Latin <coughs> conspiration, agreement, a union, an agreement and a union, yeah. So when the F when the international bankers got together, starting with even like the you can start with uh, Armstrong Bauer, right? What's the, what's the guy's name who started the um, the banks? Uh, um, Mar Ashel Bauer, I believe. Okay, he conspired with his family a long time ago to 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 put in a system to to for them to be the lenders of the world, basically. Yeah. And they started off as a small bank, and they figured out, look, if we if we start a bank and, and, and create a money supply that people need, need, we can eventually control people and control the world. Yeah. And it was a perfect plan, and they did. There were the only people that thought, hold up, if we, they didn't care about being a, a, your leader or, or, or being a king or being a, a president or being a monarchy. They wanted control of money because they know that every nation needs money to, 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 for whatever needs they, 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 they need to put, in policies they need to put forth. And they, and they they realize that money is powerful, and with money you're able to control people, man. Bribe, bribe them, you know, pay them off, hush money, you know. They they, they knew they can control people with money. They necessarily don't have to be the ones uh, in in the seat, you know, because they can just control the person that's in the seat, you know, in, in that power seat, you know. Yeah, and there's a quote out there. I always forget the person. My oh, you about it? it? That's the spirit. I was just. You got okay, yeah. go ahead, brother. So, uh, it's a variant. It says, "Let me issue." And control a, a nation's money, and I care not who writes the laws, 
attribute it to Maya Armstrong Rothschild, which you know is saying, you know, same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly with the date 1790, the year before the establishment of the first bank of the United States. See, the first bank of the United States, but all the banks is one. In, there's a group of people who are the international bankers, we like to call them, starting with the Rothschilds, that we're using many, there's one out of many examples, the Federal Reserve note, the dollar. This was conspired to be put into play to basically overthrow the world, man. And, it, and they did. Back to the definition. Back to the definition, it reads on to say an agreement, a union, Unin, un, una, un, so mm -hmm. I don't know how you say it. It's all right. Uh, nomit, nomit, nominative? Unanimity. Uh, unanimity. Unanimity, yeah, unanimity. unanimity. Yeah. Which means union, you know. Unanimity, noun of action from past participle stem of conspirare to agree, unite, plot, literally to breathe together. See, conspire. Okay, come. It's a lot, but yeah. So, literally to plot, agree, and it says see, seize, conspire, or to breathe together, make one breath. Basically, to agree. So the international bankers, they they uh, you would call them conspirators, basically, or they conspire to bring today's uh, uh, policies into play, and this has played out all throughout history. <laughs> we have a, a few examples, like the video pointed out, was what. Uh, uh, the C if you go into Julius Caesar, when he got stabbed up by what's his name, the, the uh, guy uh, uh, Brunette, uh, what was his name? Brutus. 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 I have a brunette, but I think you guys are right. Brutus. It was his, basically his right hand man who basically Brutus with a bunch of his other part of the, his council. Cohorts. Con other conspirators. Sa Salaki, mm -hmm. <laughs> it was Brutus and his other conspirators, right? Who consp who, who who agreed, right? Who agreed one, with one breath. Right. Right, according mm -hmm. to the definition, they what, what they agreed, they were in union. What else? Uh, uh, plot. They you know, they plotted. Mm -hmm. Is it is it not true that this is a fact? Is it not true that Julius Caesar was plotted against to be killed and overtaken? The the brother on the comment, GMS has a hundred percent truth. He uh, said the name is Marcus Brutus. Mark, Thawada, uh, Thawada, brother, Shalom, Mark. Marcus Brutus. Okay, Thawada, okay. So that. That's real life. That's in your history book. You go read it, all right? Another example I've got. Oh, and that's not a conspiracy theory. Thank that's you. An, that's an actual conspiracy, uh -huh. you know? Because a theory is what? a, a um, It's like a hypothetical. It's right. like a yeah. guess. It's like mm -hmm. an educated guess. It, yeah, it's not. That's why they try to label or deem the term conspiracy theory or conspiracy theorists mm -hmm. as crazy people. Oh, you got right. conspiracy yeah. theories. You guys are crazy. 9-11? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. You know? But really, it's written mm -hmm. actual. It's not a theory. It's a conspiracy. Yeah, it's an it actual conspiracy, man. Right. Come, on. yeah, come. On. Good, good point. Because theory basically means uh, uh not a fact. Mm -hmm. You know, it's basically a guessing game. Yeah. You know, it's an idea. Like Darwin's theory. Right. Yeah. You know. Yep. I forget. There's another term to it. It's no, I forget. Always forget the term. An, an, an educated guess or something like that. Like, Hypothetical. Yeah. yeah. And uh, 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 done by fit, fit, by equations and math to prove their point. It's just a theory. They, you know, it gets close, but it's not. You know, it's, it's, it's not a fact, mm. all right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, good point the brother made through the spirit. And then you got another example we're down here. Um, oh, uh, the Revolutionary mm -hmm. War. Like the video pointed out with... Oh, um, yeah. Your brother, yeah. hypothesis, educated guess. Oh, yeah. GMS had 100%. And, and the hypothesis, that's what is. yeah. Hypothesis. Yeah. hypothesis. Mm -hmm. that's, right. what, that's an educated guess. So, like, so what are, you know? So it said you got here Benedict Arnold. Don't see his brother. Um... Uh, it, 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 with the Revolutionary yeah, War. Now, I don't, now I don't know exactly who who went against him, but I just got the name, okay? If anybody want to bring us stuff, it, you know, don't have to, but if you want to. But Benedict Arnold, all right, according to the Revolutionary War, he was overthrown and was conspired against. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is in your history. Uh, Abraham Lincoln, everybody knows about Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Is it not true he got his head blown off watching mm -hmm. a play in a movie or in a theater somewhere? Mm -hmm. Guess what? It, it wasn't no random dude just doing that. It was it was a strategic plan mm -hmm. that they conspired uh, um, um, to do. To do, yeah. All right. And then he they, um, uh, he he got away scot free. And, and uh, oh, I was yeah. reading. I about, why. Yeah, I was reading about it. It was like um, it was like fucking what's the word I'm looking for? It was like they could have caught him, but it was like too many. It was like come on, they 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 basically just let him go. They just basically just 
Oh, there you go. This buzz on fire. Uh, <laughs> James Wilkes Booth. Oh, okay. that's so the dude. That, 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 that's the GMS had a hundred percent truth. Oh, okay, Thwart. Oh, hey, yeah, right, brother. Damn, we part of the show. Why don't we get another suit? <laughs> right, right, you know. <laughs> you know. Hey, Thwart, out to spirit. James you know. Wilkes Booth. Hey, you but that, that's right, brother. Because we're gonna get into scriptures. But the point is, this is real life. So why not now? Why don't you dummies wake up to know that there is a group of people who control the world? A monopoly. They're, mm-hmm. they're, they're, they're a, a small family that controls today's events, wars, the, you know, the, your news, everything, man. The brother yeah. brought up 9-11. That was, con- that was conspired to happen. Yeah. Pearl Harbor was conspired to happen. Uh, 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 um, the Gulf War was conspired. Everything, man. Yeah. So I got another, another group of terms that play part of a, cons- a, a cons- uh, conspiracy, which assassinations, assassinations have to be... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, conspire. Yeah, they just don't happen. Yeah, it's got to be planned out. Yeah, you know. So assassinations are a conspiracy. They got it's a plot, right? To take out a go against the law and take out somebody who represents the law. Okay. So uh, 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 anybody who gets assassinated, it was conspired for that to happen. Another one. Uh, oh, can somebody look up a uh, secret combine? See what oh, that? well, combine is okay. um. Uh, like a merging, like a secret merging, or a secret people, or uh, people uniting in secret. See, people uniting in yeah. secret, okay. So, for example, you can, you, we can use the banks as, as an example. Yeah. Remember, we're looking at the video, they're talking about Chase Bank merging with this bank, right. and all that. Yeah. Chase m- merged with Chase Manhattan. Yeah. Yeah. Here it is, you're thinking these banks are merging together, but really behind doors, they got a secret plot that's for a bigger reason, man. So, you can look at these banks merging as a secret combine. And you figure out that all these banks are controlled by one of, you know, a few people, man. Okay? You have, uh, let me see, uh, what I have here? I got an etymology real quick, too, of the on Monopoly, if you want to know. Um, okay, one second. Uh, I don't know what I wrote down here. I, can, I don't know what I wrote down here. Anyway, okay, so what else can involve is a conspiracy? Uh, betrayal and war. Okay? Mm-hmm. War, that's a big one. Aren't we about to go on World War Three? Oh, you guys eating up the news and well, looking at CNN, looking at Fox, and oh, Trump said this, and Putin said this, and President North Korea said this. Look, they're all orchestrated to say what they say. Now, some stuff they mean because they're all, in some ways, trying to get an edge on the other person. But for the most part, this is all being orchestrated, you know? And they do a good job of playing it off. Now, I, you, you can't really open the, with the open eyes and see what is what. You can for some part, but for the most part, it's all being... <laughs> all being conspired for World War Three to happen. But overall, the Most High is controlling all this. Anyway, you guys bring out what you got. Um, I'm going to start with Psalms 10 and 8. Matter of fact, you know, I'm gonna start up. Mm-hmm. You want to start with what? We can do that. Uh, matter of fact, you too. Start yeah. at 2, right? Okay, okay yeah. come, come, come. Any secret scripts for you? Over there? Yeah, this is Psalms. Are you right? Here's Psalms 10. Shit, start at 1. Yeah, I'm going to start at 1. Well, 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 actually, you know what? Well, well Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Oh, you can start with Job 9, 24, too. Yeah, you want to start with that? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Go okay. Get the secret point out first. Okay, this is Psalms 10 and 1. Why standest thou afar off, O Yahweh, by Shimei Shai? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Yeah, bring up your voice soon. The yeah, kind, kind. The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Is that not true? Is that not true? I'm going to say, is that not true? What's the proof? Again, over 50 to 60% of people on planet Earth live, live less than a dollar a day. All right? And you might have to fact check that because it might be even worse now. So, isn't that oppressing the poor? Read that part again. Come on. It says, this is reality, man. Now, if everybody, if we say the same thing, but everybody is, has $80,000 in the bank, or have ten, you know, have money and they're not suffering, then we look like idiots. Then you right. can say, who, who are these guys, man? Right. But what we say through the scriptures, through the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shah, lines up with what was going on today. That proves there is oppression on planet Earth, man. Again? Psalms 10 and 2. The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Yeah, and the ultimate poor is the nation of Israel. Okay? Because at the end of the day, starting with Esau and all the other nations, to Psalms 83, the 83rd chapter. Well, that's another. They all conspired together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm also somebody get to Psalms 83. Okay. All the other nations conspired yeah. together. No, you can hold that. Yeah. All the other nations conspired together to bring the children of Israel down, man. 
So he, yeah, I, you know, I just you know realized yeah, all the nations conspired together, man. Yeah. And that's in the scriptures, Psalms eighty three, I believe, is verse one. Get that real quick. Let me we'll go back mm -hmm. to that. You know, because why? What's the proof? Going to the Atlantic slave trade. Who funded? Who funded and built the uh, the, the boats for the for the for the for the so-called blacks or the uh, the Israelites to be put over here and do hardcore slavery in the islands in South America and all to bring America? Who funded that? It was it was a so-called Jews, man. Today's ruling class, all right. The international bankers. Oh, the ones that made the ships. The ones that made the ships. They're still around. Those names are still around today. Actually, I got the names. Those are right. nations conspiring, right? Go yeah, go to look at that. You know, I always bring this out. It's this movie. It's called uh, 1492: Conquest of Paradise yeah. mm -hmm. with Christopher Columbus, and it shows you how um you know Queen Elizabeth and uh, King Ferdinand at that time. They conspired along with uh, Christopher Columbus mm. to put to put northern in slavery, man. Yeah. Because they was trying to figure out, they was trying to um, and they were asking Christopher Columbus, how did he how did he know, you know what I'm saying? Who, you know that he, there was even people on this side, man. And what he he quoted the Book of Edges, man. Yeah. Yep. All right. So to go to show you, man, they, yeah. it was conspiracies back. It was conspiracies back then. Man. Yep. Yep. Nothing just happens, you know. Just the you know everything happens for a reason. Which proved the Bible's true, because he had to go to the Bible. To see where these lost people went and fled and went to the other side of the world. Wow. It was right. the Bible that showed them, not nothing else. It shows you again. This, the nuns should want her mate. Okay? There's no other Bible that can excuse me. There's no other book that can compare it to the Bible. Even the devil Columbus had to go to it to find the uh, the people of Israel to, to put them into slavery, man. Hence the reason why he had a Hebrew interpreter with him. Come. Right? He he brought him with him because he knew the people over there that you were gonna enslave. They originated back to the Hebrews, uh, uh, it, it, that uh, going back to Second Ezra's, uh, what is it, the, the, the thirteenth chapter, yeah, yeah. that left their land and came to to, to the shores of America, man. That's prophecy, you know. That's right. Go ahead. Um, read it. Okay. Uh, who, yeah, yeah, Psalms eighty three, right? Yeah, yeah, Psalms Psalms 83. You guys can get down to. I'm, I'm looking at some of them. Psalms eighty three and one. <clears throat> Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O power. Mm -hmm. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate hate thee have lifted up the head. Right. Th 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 thy enemies. That's showing you that you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have enemies, man. And those enemies are all the other nations. Okay? I'm sorry, brother. I forgot. I'm going to get right back. I forgot to make a point, so I'm sorry. The uh, the Jews, they're ones who funded the uh, the slave, the boats, right? right? Then you have the, um, the uh, obviously, the Ishmaelites. Who uh they made the boats. Who made who made the, uh, the ships. who made the ships. Mm -hmm. And then you have what the, the West the no, excuse me, the Hamites, mm -hmm. who are not our brothers, who sold us basically sold us and gave us up. Mm -hmm. Traded, yeah. Traded who traded us, man. Yep. So that's a that's a that's, that's, a, that's a, a conspiracy. Yep. Yep. It says thy enemies have made a tumult. Mm. That's our enemies make making that make making that tumult against us. It was it was Ham, it was Ishmael. Okay, and it was it was it was Amalek, mm -hmm. right? Go ahead. It says they have taken crafty counsel against thy people mm -hmm. and consulted against thy hidden ones. Crafty mm -hmm. counsel, man. That crafty counsel is, go is going into what the Illuminati, man, or the international bankers, or whatever the name they they, they want to go oh, by, yeah. right? It, it, that's them taking that crafty counsel against what does it say? Against against thy people, okay? And have consulted against thy hidden ones. That's them going to Satan, okay, and getting answers and of, of, of how to take us over, you know? Right, hey, how can I know this, yeah. you know, uh, crafty counsel, that would be what, a synonym mm -hmm. for the word plot. That's a plan, you know? Mm -hmm. When you when you sit down and have counsel, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're considering all aspects oh, yeah, of how this oh, is exactly. going to work, you, make you know? Yeah. Matter of fact, Mike yeah. the two. You with them, brother? There's more? Uh, There's more you can keep on. It says, uh... Verse four, Psalms eighty-three, four. They have said, "Come and let us cut, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance." And that's the that's the number one goal of all the other nations. They wanna they wanna do away with the nation of Israel. Okay, mm -hmm. they wanna do away with the nation of Israel because they know if we're around, we still have that chance to be back on top. Okay, right? Go ahead. It says they have. Um, Verse 5, for they have consulted together with one consent. Uh, they have consulted together. They have consulted together with one consent. That's that's, that's the definition of conspiracy. That's yeah. right. One wow, breath. That's heavy. 
Come on now. That's the definition of conspiracy. Yeah, Read that true. again. Yep. For they have consulted together mm-hmm. with one consent. Right. They yeah. have consulted together all the other nations, uh, Amalek, Ishmael, okay, Ham, and all, all, all the other nations up to this day, they have consulted together with one consent. What's that one consent? To do away with the nation of Israel. And you hear the prefix, con is, con is conspiracy or consent, consent mm-hmm. see? which is con is with. And sent, I, I guess, would means uh, with say. I don't know what if brother want to back up with anything, but yeah, it means the same thing. Sorry, you got that. That's right. For uh, they are confederate against thee, mm-hmm. the tabernacles of Edom mm. and Ish- and the Ishmaelites. You see, now now it's going through all the other nations, right? Go ahead. It says, uh, and Mo- of Moab and the Hag and the Hagarenes, mm-hmm. Gobal and Ammon and Amalek. The Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Aster also is joined with them. They have opened the children of Lot to Lot. Right, I got the definition of consent. It says, agree, give uh, give assent, yield when one has the right power or will to oppose. Hmm. Okay, so they're all they all came together in one agreement or, or one concord, right? To do away with to do away with the nation of Israel. I got so, something for you real quick. Yeah. I got I got the names of the ships and the people who who funded them. Oh, yeah. It's all just name a few. Uh, this is the names of the ships, right? Um, which was around the time. Well, the first ships I got here, but it really started in 1420. But the first ones in, in the big way. I says the first slave ships to America were in 1619 called Desire. Um, it, it was displacement and torture. They displaced the children of Israel out their land. And it was they tortured them and enslaved them and murdered them. It's also called the Middle Passage. Europe stopped in Africa. Africanus being used for slave trade. Okay. I have here in 1641, Masu Chesus, I can't, I can't understand my right. Masu Chosis legalizes slavery, slavery via passage. All right. Um. Okay, the first legal code established by European colonists. Okay, mm-hmm. so they, they sold what? Uh, cotton, sugar, yeah. cotton, sugar, and tobacco in exchange for uh, um, rum, textiles. Textiles is like cloth and, and, and cloth for cloth, um, um, or what, for building, whatever you want to call it, textiles, uh, military uh, weapons. Okay, fabrics, pottery, jewelry, crops. Okay, this is all part of the slave trade. So anyway, the ship I got here that is called one is called the Nassau. That was funded by Mose, Mose, Mose Levi. Wow. Wow. Now tell me, don't all sound like that don't sound like a, a Jew a Jewish name? Levi. Levi. Yeah, yeah. Actually, Levi. Yes, yeah, like right. Mose Le- 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 Levi. That he also funded another ship called the Four Sisters. That was Moe's Levy. There's another one called Anne, Anne and the Eliza. That was funded by Justice Bosch and John Abrams. I'll just read a few. Another one called, boat ship called Prudent Betty. That was funded by Henry Kruger and Jacob Phoenix. Another one called Hester... Murder, murder side. David Gomez, sound like a Spaniard or something. Elizabeth, another ship called Elizabeth. If I can't understand, it's David Gomel or Gamel. Gamel. That sounds like you know. David Gamel. Yeah. David Gamel. Okay. <clears throat> another one Moses Levi did, or Moses Sam Levi. He funded a boat called. The Franks. Moses Levi funded a lot of stuff. Yep. Moses Levi. Moses, you know. Oh, and, uh, someone called the Expedition, funded by John and Jacob Roosevelt. Mm-hmm. Okay. So just reading you a few names. Okay, prove to you that look, these these this was, this is the ships were funded. They were built. Okay, and were conspired that way to put these people to the nation of Israel into slavery. Mm-hmm. All right. And guess what? They these people still exist today. I remember one of the brothers who's not part of the camp anymore, 
but he works, he was part of that union, or brothers are working that union, or that, that union that, you know, there was construction, and he brought out the, one of the insurance companies uh, that they have, that, the, that they offer the union, goes back to the insurance companies that was insuring, insuring the sl one of the slave ships, mm -hmm. I believe. Either the slave ships or, yeah, it had to be the slave ships, not the, not the slaves. Mm. You know? It's the same company. You know? So they're still around today. Yeah. And, they, and basically, at the end of the day, we're like, we're pushing, they're, gonna, they're, they're pushing this new world order, and the end game is the RFID chip, the market of beast. Anyway. Yep, they, they still got that slave money, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of these companies today, they still have their wealth, or they obtain their wealth uh, uh, through, through slavery, man. You know? All right, so what we at? You had yeah, I'm done with that one, brother. Yeah, yeah, I was done. Yeah, yeah Micah, first. somebody had Micah and songs. See, read Micah first. Read Micah first. Okay. Come. This is Micah two and one. Mm -hmm. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Right, and that's you damn elites, man. Why? Because you're evil. The wickedness that you that, that 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 you're conjuring up every time you go to bed, which you're yeah. which you're given that thought by. By by the most high, ultimately, right? You you you, you know Satan's w w you know working with you, yeah. putting these evil thoughts in your head. Ooh, let me create the microchip, you know, all these evil wicked thoughts, <laughs> right? Yeah. The most high's work, uh, uh, the Satan is working with you to do that, which ultimately is the most high, right? Go ahead, continue. It says, when the morning is light, mm -hmm. they practice it mm -hmm. because it is in the power of their hand. Right, because they've been given the power to do so, man. Yeah. The earth was given into the hand of the wicked. That's Job 9, 24. Yeah, we'll get that too. Yeah. Okay, in Genesis, it tells you that the, the uh, uh, Esau's blessing is going to be uh, uh, the sword and the dew of heaven, meaning they're going to have total control over everything. And that's evident right now. We're right now, we're going through e Esau's blessing, man. Okay? It All said... Right? It says, and they covet fields and take them by violence. Come on, man. They covet it fields and take it by violence. That's what Esau mm -hmm. does. J uh, John 10 and 10, the thief covered not, but to steal, kill, and destroy. Man, who is that, man? You got to be a, a brain dead dummy. Not, you know what I mean? But th I'm sorry. That's what proves the most high exists. We always say yeah. this. This is what proves Yahweh by Hashem Shai. They are real, man. Because this is plain. And you people who don't get it, you, you're completely blinded. This mm -hmm. is not hard to understand, right? Matter of fact, I'll get one script, I'll get right back to you. This is not hard to understand, you know? Um, this is Proverbs, one of my, my favorite scriptures, man, about what, what, how to, the men of the Lord take in this knowledge, all right? Or men of the Lord. It, this is how he feels about this truth, or what we're saying here, is, is this. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 9. They are all plain to him that understandeth. And write to them that find knowledge. Mm. Okay? They read that really slow, man. Okay? okay? It says, they are all plain to him that understand it. So look, a man of the Lord, when we bring out these truths of the prophecies, the mark of the beast, uh, the race wars, uh, the, the chariots, the Lord's going to come back and save the elect. Sure, the two thirds are wicked. Yeah. You women are secondary. I mean, everything that comes with this truth. All right? The seed is from the man. Man determines who you are. Uh, the Israelite foreigners, the Cornelius issue, this is all plain to a man of the Lord. We're not sweating uh, to, to understand this, man. If you're sweating, struggling, damn, I, I just don't see it. I don't see it. it. You know, yeah, I yeah. Countless, mm. countless breakdowns. Yeah, and you can you know be what? sincere, too. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. some people are sincere and still don't get it. Well, yep. look, you're not, you, it ain't Lord ain't working with you, man. Mm. Because the scriptures say here plainly, they're all plain to him that understand it. And write to them that find knowledge. So not only do they understand, it's right to them. Yeah. It makes sense, and it's right to them that find knowledge. Okay. And knowledge means to know. The, the, the issue about rape, that, that was a big yeah, thing. Yeah, come on, man. I, I don't see it. No, it doesn't mean that. No, no. Right? But no. it's very simple, man. You know, I was with, uh, you know, the apostle doing a show, uh, uh, or whatever. And uh, he, he was saying that, man, if, 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 there's, if there's anybody that doesn't get it after countless breakdowns, you know what? He's going to be like, you know what? Just just take a walk, man. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Because it's obvious that the Lord's not dealing with you. The Lord can't open your eyes to see that. You know? It's, no, it's nothing it, It's nothing we can do. It's nothing he can do. Okay? It's obvious that the Most High does not want that revealed to you. So, so you know what? Go ahead and take a walk. You know? That simple. You yeah. know? Especially nowadays, man. We're too close to the end game to, to sit down and, and break things down to you uh, if you can't get it. You know, countless, countless times. You yeah, know? and it really just takes looking up these words, too. Just look at the definition of rape. It means to take by force, dumb, dumb. Yep. 
Uh, the, the, I did a show on it. The Lord's gonna, don't you know the Lord's gonna uh, 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 enact that word? Mm -hmm. Which rape, he's gonna rape the elect. No, gonna, that's, that's How is he gonna rape the elect? He's gonna grab them, but he's gonna take them by force. Twinkling of, a, twinkling of an eye. Yeah, yeah. getting beamed up. That's a rape, dum dum. Mm -hmm. That's getting beamed up. That's getting, that's real fast. That's being seized. That's mm -hmm. being taken. Yep. Okay. The whole Many thing with the, with the whole thing with the mark of the beast, which is the, which is the latest thing now. Yeah. And it seems like when when that, when, when that came out, it seems like there's more and more things even to prove what the mark of the beast truly is, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Anyway. So that, that that was it in Micah, right? Yeah. Um. Okay. You want me to go back to Psalms? Psalms right? Yeah. Okay. So this is Psalms 10 and 2. The wicked in his pride. Doth persecute the poor, mm -hmm. let them let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Right, like you're going into that that wicked uh, persecuting the poor. That's a form of a, a conspiracy as well, man. You know why? Because the wicked are, are gathering together. Yeah. Uh, for for one purpose to what to persecute the poor. Even right you know? now, you, even in today's your precious American government, don't you know it's a plan? Is a plan literally to take out the middle class, and they've done it. Yeah. So there was a plan to keep you people poor. Mm -hmm. Don't you know these internet, these, not even, let's not even include international bankers, which the, uh, the corporate, the big corporations, your, um, who's that dude? Is it John McCain? And who's that funny dude who ran, who ran against, um, McCain? Um, who's fucking funny. Like, corporate, uh, corporations are people or something like that. Oh, oh, yeah, he, uh, what's the name? Yeah, a lot of people that like about. them, too. Um, oh, great, uh, Bernie, yeah, Bernie Sanders? Bernie Bernstein. Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah, nah so, nah, nah, is it nah, not McCain? Nah nah, 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 nah. He used to be the head of the Republican Party. All you got to do is uh, type in McCain and who he went, who he went against. I bro probably brother probably pulled up already. Nah, he said John Kerry. It's not John Kerry. No, not John Kerry, yeah. But we'll not get John it. Kerry, but basically, Kerry. all those people, you know what I mean? All those elected officials, all your, uh, your precious senators, okay, and your, or not even them, the people who own big businesses, like, uh, 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 Exxon and, and, and Texaco and uh, and uh, uh, any big company, the, the corporations, pharmaceutical companies, they all conspire. They all conspire to keep you people poor, man. Mm -hmm. Ex excuse me, actually, mm -hmm. especially the politicians. I'm sorry because it's, it's the big corporations that lobby and support and bribe the the people in office. Right, right. Yeah. And eventually, the people in office are put there. By the international bankers, exactly. so they're conspiring to yeah. keep you people poor, to yeah. keep you in the dark, to keep and to keep the wealth, uh, you, yeah. you know, to and keep, the, to wealth keep the, wealth the wealth with them, to keep the wealth with the politicians. That's where you get into the tax breaks and the, yeah. the tax cuts. Why do you think these the people who make a certain, who make six or eight, eight zeros in their check, they don't only pay, they don't pay less than fifty percent tax? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense that they less mm -hmm. they pay less than fifty percent tax, oh, their annual oh, income, oh, but then. For a person who makes forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars a year, who's damn near a, a lower middle, a lower middle class, or just dirt poor, right? They pay up to thirty-five percent in their tax, or yeah. even more. Yeah. Yep. You know, us working regular jobs. If you're making forty thousand, fifty thousand a year, sixty thousand a year. I mean, to survive in society, you got to make over like you got to make in the forties, man. To have a car, mm -hmm. a one two bedroom apartment, to pay your insurance. Especially in the tri-state area in Jersey, New York, you gotta be making you, you gotta be like fifty, man. At Jersey least. gotta make at least no lower than forty. And that's that's, just, that's just a single man. Yeah, yeah, just one man. Yeah, cunt. You know? Yeah. That's oh, it's Mitt Romney. This brother's on yeah, fire. Yeah, it, 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 it was Mitt Romney. Yeah, Romney. Good guy, but Romney. Yeah, Mitt Romney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was like a, 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 a crazy G oh, Jesus freak, yeah, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mitt Romney. That's what it was. The water, the water, the water. Mitt Romney. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, so my point was those guys, okay, they all conspire, man, mm -hmm. to keep you dummies down. And it's also in the Roman Empire. That also proves it's, it's in the Roman Empire, because what did they do? It's a term called uh, Brandon Games. You Brandon think Brandon Circus. Brandon, yeah, Circus. Oh, I'm sorry, Brandon Circus. Circus. You think Brandon Circus was just something they did for the people, you dumb dumps? No, they give you bread, food, and games to t distract you idiots, man, yeah, right and now, keep you dummies poor. poor. Yep. Just like today, like LeBron James. You think LeBron James chose to go to the Lakers? He was probably told that to go there by the witches and warlocks that he worships. You know, he he he's under some um some uh 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 cabal not cabal the um the cabal he's under some cabal tutors that govern him and tell him what to do. In all your stupid sports, mm -hmm. that's the bread and games. So in all you you're distracted by your, your bread and games. You're distracted by your false news, your disinformation by CNN and Fox, which are satanic companies. And they're all, they're owned by the bankers anyway. 
Okay? You just being you just being the you just being lied to in all directions, man. From your from the sports you look at to the to the news you look at to the magazines that you read to to, to, to the schools that you go to. The international bankers control what goes in your history books, man. It's called manifest destiny. That's how they were able to push. Might as well, might as well get let me get Joe 924 real quick and we'll mm -hmm. go right back to you. That's why this whole image of CJ Boji was put into play. They manifested that image of today. They conspired, right, by the, what, Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo, who painted the, the, the chapel. Is it the 16th chapel or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it's 16. Right? They conspired to do whitewashing. Anyway, you got it. Job 9, 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Yeah, I mean, look, man. The internet, are these are international bankers righteous people? Hell no, man. Righteous people take care of their pe take care of their people, or they look after other people. You oh, know. Proverbs. Oh, uh, uh, twelve uh, People, people. Uh, well, yeah, might, do now. might as well get it. I'm not even nobody stop talking. Let let that scripture talk. It says oh, right on point oh, and hold that. Right. This is uh, Proverbs twenty nine and two. Oh, it says, I'm sorry, I'm in Isaiah slide. Twenty seven and one. All right, this is Proverbs. I believe it's that. I'll get that next. This is Proverbs, Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, when, when the righteous are in authority, mm -hmm. the, the people rejoice. Yeah, that's the right one. Slot. I'll read it again. Mm -hmm. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. It's a simple scripture, man. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. I don't need to break it down. If you're, if you're a righteous man, if you're a righteous uh, being in the spirit of Yahweh Shemasha or a righteous person, right? The people that you rule over, right? They will be rejoicing, man. They can be taken care of. What's an example of that? Well, King Solomon. All right, if you go into uh, King Solomon, that was basically a prelude to the kingdom of heaven, man. There was forty years of peace. King Solomon had the. He was the king of all kings. All other kings from other nations, right? Who were decked out themselves came to pay honor and homage to uh, King Solomon, man, because his his. The scriptures talk about King Solomon doing that. What? What? His wis his um, his legend across the land, right? There was no Twitter back then. There was no uh, uh, Facebook and t all that crap, right? But he he was a, a legend all around the known world. Yeah. He had fame all around the known world, and it was it was it was pointed out to what? Or was it Bar she not Sheba or Bar Sheba? Bath, uh, Bathsheba. 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 Yeah. That when she went to go see him. He was greater than the myth, or he was greater than his actual legend. She thought the doorman was him. You know? She, she thought the doorman was uh, was King Solomon, showing you he had to be decked out and looking oh, clean, man. you know? Shows you how glorious that kingdom was. But the point the point is that what? Uh, those that, well, that was a righteous king, King Solomon, who, who and the people were rejoicing. There was not one poor man. All Israel was eating. All Israel was at their homes. All Israel was providing for their family. There was no wickedness going on, in, in a big, big way. It was a, it was a peaceful, it was a peaceful time. Mm -hmm. Right. It says, I'll read again. It when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Yeah, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. So that's, so right. that's how you know. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the right, the righteous are not ruling, man. You have wars upon wars. You have five hundred million uh, uh, orphans in, in Iraq. You got a, again uh, in, in in the whole world, all right, whole world population. Uh, 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 under pe people live under a dollar a day. Are people rejoicing when you have a dollar a day? Hmm. All right. You have you got all this sedition amongst men in America. You got groups like Antifa, right? Who who are against who are against it's called anti-fascists. They're against big government controlling. You you have groups like the Patriot Prayers. You have groups like so-called Black Lives Matter. They're not happy, man. You have protests all over all over the world. You got the, the, the yellow jackets over there in France complaining about gas prices. You have people dying by drones. We can go on, man, but the people are not uh, uh, rejoicing, man. There's a wicked ruler in play. And they're, they're none other than the international bankers that oppress the poor, man. And the Bible talks about that. So you people are fucking idiots out there, man. We only had to wake up the elect. And you know you're gonna get. You know you're gonna see a stupid comment on here, you know. <laughs> you know. And guess what? Those people, those people control the world. Are you damn dirty Edomites, man? You so-called white people that will be going into slavery, like the Bible talks about. You understand? Like the like the biblical prophecy, man. 
Yeah, I'm right, yeah, let's not forget about that, you dirty, damn, detestable Edomites, man. Huh. Talk about you so-called white people, man. You're not white. You're red. You're damn dirty demons who are going to go into slavery, man. Mm -hmm. Start with your Rothschilds, all right? Rothschilds basically means red shield anyway. Or red <laughs> child, really. Really, really red child. Okay, so like, right. uh, could piece that? That's okay. Right. okay, and then you go back to that okay. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is Proverbs 28 and 8. He that by usury and unjust gain increaseth his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. Come on, read, read that again. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Proverbs the, the, 28 the and 8. He that by usury, and when I went to the um, mm -hmm. the, um, the, uh, the Bible, usury means interest. That's right, interest. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And unjust gain. You see, so reading on Interest sorry. is wicked. wicked mm -hmm. This is Proverbs 28 and 8. He that by usury. Usury, which his brother just brought his interest, uh huh. And unjust gain. What's the proof of interest? Well, look at your, your national debt. <laughs> oh, God. How do you think that came up? Let you know there's a debt and then you have the interest debt? Right. It's like two parts. The interest is bigger than the. Um, than the actual debt itself. You know? I mean, you, what is it now? 20, 20, 20, 21, three, trillion. 21 trillion? Probably 22 trillion. Right and now. then I remember Apostle, Apostle Tall broke it down. Well, that's just, I forget the, the ins and outs of how to break it down, really, but there's certain terms, but really, that's not really the real debt. It's like 100 trillion or something. Yeah, it's like a 60, 80 trillion, really. Yeah, that was like, yeah, yeah. Yo, the world, the world oh, the debt went up to 184 trillion. $86,000 per person. Yeah, yeah, I saw that the whole brother, brother did a video yeah. this week. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he was making a point like you're born into you're born into you. When a baby's born, guess what? That baby's in, in debt. debt. Already. He's eighty six thousand dollars in debt. Oh God! Already, just just taking his first breath. Okay. So how how is that how is that uh 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 um how isn't that baby would, wouldn't that be mourning? Because when you mm -hmm. owe somebody, that's you, you're mourning. You have to pay. You got to work to pay the person back. You know. Debt sleeves. You're a debt, you're a slave. So when you have ten dollars, okay, I work. Here's your ten dollars. Thank you, brother. Okay, you give me a hundred. Here you go. When you when you owe eighty six thousand dollars, man. When you owe, you know, just that breathing your first air, your air, <laughs> and then you live your life, and you go to college, and you create all this other debt. You're working to pay somebody off, which is impossible to pay, especially with the interest and in the usury that these people put upon these people, man. So you continue. You're a continuous slave. Shit, I got the numbers here. Uh huh. So, so like, uh, uh, the national debt is twenty one trillion, but the U.S. total debt is uh, seventy one trillion. So is that trillion? That's trillion, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. seventy one trillion. trillion. Seventy one trillion. Come on, yeah. yeah. See, total debt per person, the total trillion is two hundred eighteen thousand. Wow. <laughs> so look, Ooh. all of us in here, we have we're under Ouch. a minimum with, with good credit. With the best credit, I'm talking about what, 792, 800 credit? Mm -hmm. 850s. If you have an 850 credit out there, you are what? Uh, excuse me. Uh, this for, uh, is for good credit, guys. $218,000. So no, no, have, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah $218,000. So if you have 200, if you're $218,000 in credit, guess what? You have good credit. You're still in debt. Even if you wipe apart your debt, you're still technically in debt. debt. Or to the national debt. Dumb, dumb, and guess what? It was conspired for that for you to be that way. This is what this video is about. It wasn't done by accident. Because how the hell are you gonna be? How you, how you print that much uh, debt for yourself? Yeah. You know. Anyway, yeah. that's why niggas going to um the judge's five and eleven man. This place is a place of drawing waters, man. This is our slavery. Con, con. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, what else? 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 He that by usury and a just gain increases his substance, he shall gather yeah, it. By just yeah. gain increases his <laughs> substance, right? And I got a sub, I got something on that too. Increases his substance. So all these people, like we're going to the FRNs, yo, these are this is owned by private people, man. Mm -hmm. They take their money and they just enjoy themselves, and they just want complete power. They own people. They own. Uh, uh, they have puppet leaders. They set up your presidents. They set up your leaders. They own governments. They make. They don't care controls the laws. They just own they own the people. That money is going to them. It's not going to your roads. It's not going to your schools. Your school books. Stupid. These are, these are the dummies who believe in the society, man. You believe your taxes are going to the to the bridge that just got built last week on your road on your road, man? Hmm. Nah. You believe your taxes going to, to that to that pothole down the street? Nah, man. 
It's going to straighten the pockets of the elites at the end of the day. I got something real quick. Oh, you grabbed that? Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, Sirach 21 and 8. It says, he that buildeth his house with other men's money. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was just looking. I was just about <laughs> oh, this brother. Yeah. Oh, this brother had that too. Yeah, I was just, I was just like, yeah, brother, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's spirit. That's the spirit. Three, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he that buildeth his house with other men's money That's right. is like one that gathered himself stones for the tomb of his burial. Yeah, go, go into that, bro. Yeah, man, because yeah. Mosai is going to judge you on that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you got this man's uh, 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 blood, you know what I'm saying? Start yeah. with the children of Israel. Yeah, start with the children of Israel. You know, you got this man's uh, blood upon you, man. You read it again. Yeah, we, we created this world, man. We created the whole world coming from America, but the whole world, man. Because remember, that slave Atlantic trade, that was getting, that was all done off the, our blood and our back. Put money in, in Spain's pocket. Put money in the international bankers' pocket. Put, put food in, in textiles. All this money all over the world was off the backs and the sweat of the Israelites, man. Yeah, for free. For free. Yeah. Well, you know? Workers, free employees. Well, you going to the last book of the... um cause what really you're doing with, by doing this is by what? You're putting in a, another man in slavery, man. Ooh. And what's the book of uh, Revelation 13 said? He that lead it for captivity. Shall shall captivity. That's, that's, that's Esau, man. Mm -hmm. you know? Now, hey, we're going to do that. But it's just because it was done to us, man. Yeah. You know? Retribution. Yeah, like ah. these, are, these are the charges that the Most High hey, put in his word, man. You got people that scoff at us. Nah, man, we just gonna tell you the charges, man. But the most high, he yeah, gonna judge you. For that. I got something That's right. real quick. That's right. oh, I got something, right. brother. Uh, uh, Exodus chapter twenty one verse sixteen. And he that stealeth a man mm. and selleth him, mm -hmm. or if he be found in his hand, mm. he shall surely be put to death. Because you want to, hey, because you want to chip the people. That that's another charge against you, man. You shall surely be put to death. Mm. You know, if you be found in his hand, man. And that's, you put, you know, you allowing this devil uh, to uh, chip you. Mm -hmm. You know, just like in the scripture, I know the apostle Uncle Barrows goes into it. The all. Uh, the the all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, uh, what, when you put that in your ear, that basically means that you're, uh, you're a slave for life. Right? Yeah. Right. Yes. And right. then you had, um, in ancient, in ancient societies to where it would be like, um, like uh, Marco Polo or whatever. You know what I'm saying? When, um, Marco, his father stole and, um, basically he got branded, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's different, uh, uh, uh society, man. You would get branded, you know what I'm saying, to symbolize that you were that person's slave. Oh, they do that with cattle. With, with cattle, They yeah. do that with cattle, with, mm -hmm. with livestock. They they, they shave the, 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 the whatever, the butt off, whatever, they get that skin, and then they mm -hmm. put mm -hmm. a, a um, what do you call it? Branding iron. A branding, branding iron brand, in, yeah. in the heat, and they take it off, and they stamp it on the right. on the, on the cattle. Right. It might have a number like 84 or whatever, right. and mm -hmm. now every anybody that sees it, they know that it belongs to somebody. Right. Uh -huh. hey, they, they, they doing that to us now, man, with the yep. social yeah. security now. Yeah, that's yeah. Right, that's they just right. going to get physical. That proves that we're cattle. Right. Mm -hmm. We're that livestock. Who said that? Co 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 Colin Powell said that mm -hmm. by accident. He said that in a, in a Senate meeting or whatever. He was like, yeah, well, the uh, uh, we use the social security number um, basically as uh, to, to know, like, he said basically like they're our slaves. Anybody has a social security number, you're, you're a slave right. pretty much. Mm -hmm. Hey, but they, they do that now, man. What they chip people chip their pets, man. Yeah. And then now they, they looking at hey, they chipping you, you know. And word of the day, they, this was all conspired, conspired to be done. It wasn't by accident. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was it. That was it on there. Yeah. Okay, and then you you wrote read yourself. Yeah, so, yeah, go back to um, yeah, I'm done with that. Okay, Psalms so, ten. No, I'm, I'm going back to okay. Psalms ten. Oh well, well, he was reading his book of Revelation. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 this is Job 924. Yes, you bring it out and you rewind back. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Mm -hmm. He covers the faces of the judges they rob. International bankers, he covers the faces of the judges they rob. Everybody knows this by something called whitewashing or iconoclasm. Icon means icon and clasm means to destroy. So destroying icons. That's why you got those uh, uh, certain statues in our world, in, our, in the um, dark ages. Okay. Uh, with their noses chipped off. How the hell that thing is going to be perfectly intact? Okay? And Except their noses are chipped off. Yeah, Actually, you just did a show. I forget what it was talking about. You just, you had an image of a... a oh, it was a Greek... Yeah, it was a... Uh, um, a Greek... It was actually a, That was a Jake. Yeah. 
And if his nose is like his nose is chipped off. Right. It was uh it was a Ju- it was a so it was a Judite in antiquity in okay. Greek Greek times. Con. Yeah. And that was a, that was a thumbnail right. the brother used for the the video. Yeah, what yeah. was the video called? The uh, uh he- Hellenized Jews. Okay, yeah, like con. Helen yeah, okay, con. Helen yeah, yeah brother did a video on GMS precepts called Hel- Hellenized Jews. Okay, so if you look at that, those were Israelites. But in, in today's cartoons and your movies you know the Vikings and the Greeks are all na- uh, blue-eyed, blue, blue-eyed, blonde-haired people. Yeah. But hell no, we were the Vikings. Yeah. We were the uh, the William Wallace of Scotland. We were the people of the Dark Ages. We were the people. Uh, well, we were not the Greeks, but we were in the Greek society. You know. Yeah. So by iconoclasm, it was destroyed. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even the original Greeks were uh, dark-skinned, man. Yeah. They tell you oh, that. Jacket. I remember, I remember, yeah, I remember Apostle um, Arama, it was a while back, he did a um, lesson on the um, uh, the original uh, Japites, and yeah. how they were, you know, the true skins, mm-hmm. yeah. how the men um, were dark. Right. But well, the really, women, the original Romans, they would say, yeah. Oh, the original Romans. Ro- Ro- Romulus and Romulus Rumi- or something like that. They right. were Jap- Japites, I believe. God, and, and, and uh, the men were dark skin, but the women... Mm-hmm. See? The woman, the woman was dark skinned too, but they was, uh, you know, portrayed as a uh, uh, yeah. uh, white yeah. to um to defer the genders, yeah. you know. Which is a good but uh, it's going to show you how um, you know, Esau uh, uh, covers the uh, he changes the judges thereof, man. Yep. Changes the people. That's right. It says the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. How is it given by the international bankers, man? The the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the 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 um. Duponts, uh, whatever the name I can't really remember, the 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 um the Morgan family, J P Morgan. Okay, these are all the elite banking families, man, conspired together once again to control this this present day world, to control your. Uh, they choose your elected officials. They choose your presidents. They run policies. You know. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yeah, so who else did this? Who else uh, committed iconoclasm? Who else uh, mm-hmm. did whitewashing? Who else changed the face of the Most High and the Lord and convinced the whole world their name is God, a Greek term, which is just a title. It's not a name. And he convinced the world his son is Jesus, which is <laughs> comes from a guy called uh, Sir, Sir, um, Serapis Christus, which is one of the, uh, I believe, uh, one of the Alexander the Great's uh, generals, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, 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 Serapis. Serapis, um, Serapis Christus, or Christus. Apostle, oh, Apostle uh, Bar was under, going to uh, Ptolemy? under Ptolemy. Yeah. Under Ptolemy, yeah. On the the Ptolemy Empire or something. Got it. You know, and well, also Serapis was a Greek, a, a Greek, um, a Greek god that they that they made up that they got from Egypt. It's yeah. um, it's um, two guys put together. But it was an actual, it was actual person down there. Serapis. Yeah, it was an actual person that you're right. But it was actually a person that uh, Apostle Oscar was going yeah. into it. Cut. It was an actual man too, Serapis Christus, who was one of the, I think, part of the brigade of uh, people of Ptolemy, the Ptolemy Empire, I believe. But we'll get into that. Maybe we'll bring out some stuff on that. But anyway, uh, that's not real, okay? And then of course, Jesus Christ is a Greek term. All right. So who 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 pushed that? The so-called white man. So if it, it ain't him, who, who who is it then, man? Huh. It's a rhetorical question, man. You know the goddamn answer. You know, stop playing around. You you damn people, you devil white people, man. You're not but a fucking race of devils. Start with your 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 your, your international bankers who don't even give a damn about you regular uh, Edomites out there. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was it for that, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. and we always get into it. If it wasn't Esau Edom, why is Jesus why is Jesus uh, so-called white? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Why can't be a Chinese man? Why you can't be an right. Arab man? Yeah. You know? Yeah, why you gotta be that color? You know? Yeah. Why? Because it's called manifest destiny and they want that that power. They don't want to put that stupid word white in society as to identify with people, man. Mm-hmm. No other yeah. nation on planet Earth has ever done that. Yeah, yeah. Nobody, you know? nobody, yeah. nobody identifies as white. Well, you white, white, you black. White, black, yeah. So it looked like Michael Jackson was white, right? Yeah. And real okay. quick, um, Elder Malcolm <laughs> always goes into that. That word "white" and "black" just came out like a like a couple a couple of like um, the 1600s? like the sixteen hundreds, man. Yeah, when it was when right. they, they colonized America. Yeah, they did it on purpose. That was excuse me. That was conspired. That was conspired. Right. The white and black was conspired. They yeah. did that on purpose, man. Yeah. Right. The, the only nation in the Bible that had a a, a, a 
a description about his skin color was named out of his skin color was Esau. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was Edom. That yeah. was the only nation out of the out of the right. table nations that was called a name based on their complexion. That's you know? right. Because they had no goddamn color. That's right. You know, that's the whole irony of this, man. You know, or the oxymoron of this. Hey, in the scriptures, it goes by uh, omen, omen, omens, man. Yeah. The brother was going into East Edom, basically meaning red. Mm -hmm. And then even the scriptures, it talks about how um, the uh, the prophets in Acts 13 chapter, how they were known as what? Niger. Yeah. Right? You got the uh, the Jake that uh, ruled um, Rome at one point, Vicinius Niger, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So Acts they, 13. Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they cover that. They make it seem like, oh, um, I remember the video of Apostle uh, um, Tahar put up about the chick. She had got her um her DNA test, and that said that she was from Europe, man. She got sad <laughs> as if Jake didn't rule Europe. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That's what that video was about. I didn't click it. I didn't want to yeah, yeah, this yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah. But I knew it was something. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You ain't even fucking dumb. Anyway, all right. So she thinks she's an Edomite. Yeah, she's <laughs> stupid. Oh boy. Okay, so we were doing that. So you guys got it back. Yeah. So back to Psalm ten and three, for the wicked boasted of his heart's desire. And blesses the covetous, the, the covetous, whom Yahweh Bashim Yahshah boreth. Mm. The wicked through the pride. And, that, and that's each know. other. He say he blesses the, the covetousness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People that covet. That's what they Esau steal. Blessing each other, man. Mm -hmm. Thou not covet. Because the number one covet, covet, covetous uh, nation of, of people are yeah. you Edomites, man. Come. On. You know? Yeah. And, and they said, who, who, who the Lord abhorreth. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. It says, the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the Most High. Mm -hmm. The Most High is not in all his thoughts. Yeah. It says, his ways are always grievous. Mm -hmm. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is what's going on right now with Trump. Yeah, with right. Trump, yeah. yeah. Stop was more, uh, stop was more uh, uh, proud than his fellows or yeah. something like that. Yeah, this look was more stout than his fellows. Yeah. 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 It's six verse. It says, "He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity." <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. Uh, <laughs> for real, isn't it, is it not? I'm always gonna say that. Is that not true? Have you never heard? Don't tell me you never heard a politician never say that. You had McCain who just fucking hit the bucket. The Barack Obama wow. had a fucking detestable cancer animal. He was with a fucking pale gremlin. You know, but anyway, Red Gremlin, but he said, look, we're going to be in Afghanistan for the next 100 years. I remember that, man. And look it up. This is the arrogancy of Esau, man. He was saying uh, America is going to be in Afghanistan for the next 100 years. Okay? Oh, well, I got some. Uh, well, Psalms 49 and 11. Yeah. You know? Who, who talks like that, man? Hmm. Yeah, you got, you got specials on YouTube talking about, yeah, the year... A uh, year, um, 10,000 years from now, what this world will look like. Yeah. Or, or the world for a uh, thousand years from now, or, or you know, yeah. 44 B, 44 AD. Yeah. And they think they have an idea, or they have actually calculated that, or a theory of what they think is going to be. Yeah, like a 2030, or 2030. Yeah, 20, you know, yeah. You know? Um, I'm sorry, 49-11? Slark. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get this one. Yeah, you go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Get that. This uh, wasn't a Solomon. The Spirit had me read the, uh, you know, my Bible gives you like, a, what is it, the synopsis mm -hmm. of the chapter. So it says, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. Yeah, uh, that was the yeah, Spirit. Yeah. Oh, word? Yeah, That's I got this one. I got it. It says, The yeah. wicked thinketh this life short and of no other after this. Therefore, they will take their pleasure in this and their life. And conspire against the just. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, I didn't know it had that word in there. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was, that was in the um. That was the synopsis. Yeah. Like the little synopsis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he said, that again. Yo, yeah, yeah, he yeah. That again. Yeah. It says the wicked think this life short and of no other after this. Therefore, they will take their pleasure in this, meaning this life, and conspire against the just. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's mm -hmm. the same. That's basically what it said. Yeah, right. They should persecute the poor and so on. Yeah, mm -hmm. same because it, he's, Esau's a damn dirty beast, man. Mm -hmm. He believes he's just right. one life and he just dies. Right. You only, uh, what's it, yellow or something? You only live once. Yeah, you only live once. Right? <laughs> and that's it. So they just, they just doing all what they, what they can. Because they, they, they think they only live once. 
So just we just gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah, because they know? said there's no in this in, in wisdom time too. It says there's no remedy for the grave. Right? Yeah, that's yeah, why they're right. trying to. That's why um, when the scripture says in verse twelve twelve that um for the devil know he has a short time. Well, he's trying to work on being immortal, man. Yeah, well, being yeah, a that's right. That's yeah. right. Mm. I'm like, I got, um, I got some. Okay, okay, yeah, that's you, you can break it down. Yeah. Uh, Psalm chapter forty nine and eleven. It says huh? their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Yeah, and that's and that's you know specifically going to their enterprise, the new world order. They think mm -hmm. that they're gonna rule the earth forever, man. Yeah. That's why we just read the scripture. The Most High is not even in their mind, man. All right. <laughs> These people really think that they're gonna be here for another forty or fifty years. Yeah, even longer than that, brother. Even longer than that. Yeah, yeah, you know. They don't know that they're going straight into captivity, man. Good, brother. <laughs> yeah, it says their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Which is me, which which which, which means their conglomerate, okay? Their 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 enterprise, all right? Their their, their, their new world order is gonna last forever, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And their dwelling places. And their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. They call their lands after their own names. And see, you see, and, and this is why they're banning the Bible in California. They can do it all around the world. Because it's exposing them. It's expo it, 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 when you read the scriptures, you can tell that there's one, one nation of people that's talking about. And it's talking about you so-called white people, you Edomites, man. And what the Bible does, the Bible exposes the Illuminati, man. Yeah. The Bible tells you who the Illuminati, who, who the bankers, who the people that's running everything, who they are biblically. They're Edom. Yeah, the wicked, man. Yeah. You know? Come on. All right, that was it. You got it, brother. So, okay, so it says, He saith, six verse, this is Psalms 10 and 6. He saith, He, he hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit. And fraud, you see, that's what these devils do, man. Their mouth is full of cursing and deceit, man. Hey, well, this brother always bring it out. Uh, El Nas, he always bring it out that what? There's a there's a law in uh, the American government that they're allowed to uh, lie to the people. Wow. That's a they're, they're, they're allowed they, to. That's a conspiracy. They're, yeah, they're yeah. They conspire to make that law mm -hmm. to make it legal in their penal code to lie to the citizens of America, in, in, for the for the case of. Uh, 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 the national security for a safety type for sure. safety oh, fucking like, yeah. to oh, protect yeah. you basically that's what they that's what they do it how does that make sense that doesn't make fucking sense huh? man you got that um that uh that, docu yeah, nah, yeah, was, that nah. documentary um i know the elder uh, brought it up earlier it's called from feeding with the fascism now mm -hmm. he kept going around asking people um or he kept asking like the irs and stuff why do we have to pay taxes why do we have to be taxes and i didn't see the whole thing but um, basically, he was basically going around, and uh, nobody would give him an answer, man. Yeah. You know, so that's like the brother, like the others going into, man. They, they, uh, they really, they feel like it's a law, man. That you know, you got it. Hey, this, you know, this is a lie. You got to accept it. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they want to all fuck, man. Well, like the scriptures <laughs> just read, he just read. They've been deceived. Right. Because mm -hmm. uh, Apostle Recall always brings out the, uh, the, in, the doing your taxes. Like, that's not even against the, a part of the Constitution, right. man. That was again. That was conspired for that law to be in there. So you're not supposed to be there. You're not supposed to be doing your. You're not supposed to be getting taxed the way you want. According to the scriptures, you're supposed to get paid every day for your work. Before the sun goes down. Hey, Tawada. Before the sun goes down, man. So not only do we have a righteous work, we stop working before the sun went down. You see that, man? Man, I'm, you know, you know, this is this, wicked, man. wicked, man. Even in, in, in the holy laws, man. We were not to work after the sun went down. Why? Because we, we there were certain days we had Sabbaths. We had blue moons. Okay? And this is and we're one with nature, man. What the hell? That's why you have people struggling to do an overnight shift. Yeah. You know, uh, work starting at uh, 11 at night and get on up 7 in the morning. And still got to uh, go out in the day, the sun, you know, when they didn't get no sleep or no, try to sleep when the sun's out. Up. You know, fucking the whole body clock right, right. for years to try to survive and pay bills. They feed their families. And then you go out and vote for, for this to keep going on. And you say you love America, man? What's that fucking love? You're never a slave. See, that's why the laws are righteous. That's why the law's going to come back and do away with all, all this, man. Mm -hmm. This is oppression. And you fucking niggas out there, man. Mm -hmm. You fucking sellouts. Whether you know you're Israel or you're not, you're, you're fucking going to be destroyed, man. Yeah. IYC, you fucking pumping about date night? Your fucking date nights, man? That's crazy, man. 
You fucking have uh, family specials, you know? So they're comfortable. You're supposed to be bringing out prophecy, man. Bringing out this. This is wicked, man. Anyway. It says, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. And that's and that's what you devils are all about, man. Fraud, man. You're, fra- right. fraudulent. you're fraudulent, man. All right? You're constantly putting pressure on people. And your whole your whole character is fraud, man. You're not the real people of the yeah. Lord. You're, you're not the fucking Egyptians. All right? You're not, you're not even the real Greeks, man. Yeah. You're Edom, man. The devil. Okay? And, and real quick, real quick before I say it. Even your currency is fraud, man. Yeah. Because I because when I went to the word monopoly, it means um it means um fake basically fake money, man. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, yeah, you're right, brother. Because look, remember they create money out of thin air. That's but not mean, money. It was just you see, it's backing you up. Man. Yeah, it, it's it's not even it's, it's not backed by anything, man. Yeah. This whole thing was, was the whole system was made off of fraud, man. Conspired. Which <laughs> which goes is back to the word. Gold, which goes back to the word conspired. It says, under his tongue is mis- mischief and vanity. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all the stuff he says is empty, man. It's mi- nothing but mischief. All the stuff for naming is just pure, man, the, 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 the rule of the world, the, uh, the FRN notes, the way you put it in the, in the Constitution. Uh, 9-11, Pearl Harbor, Gulf War, assassinations. We go down the list mm-hmm. of all the mischief Esau done. Scripture says his sins will reach onto the clouds. Yeah. Putting Esau, the so-called blacks into slavery, uh, uh, lying about the name of the Lord. All right, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, giving us uh, uh, our non-biblical names and lying to us, saying we're a bunch, we're a bunch of Africans swinging in uh, trees in, in Africa. And, and the list goes on, man. Evolution. Oh, thank the water. Talk preaching evolution, trying to do away with the Bible. You know. Making um 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 putting images of the Most High Adam naked, they're gonna get fucking obliterated, man. As Edomites, the Lord is gonna obliterate yeah. you, Edomites, man. And hey, angels as uh, butt naked babies. Yeah, butt naked babies. Yeah. Man, ooh, you got a big uh, built to pay, Esau. So, you know, eight verse. It says he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. Yeah, like a little demon, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know how the cops be hiding behind the bush, yeah. waiting for you to give you a ticket? Got him, yeah. That's Esau, man. Like, yeah. 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 like a little fucking demon, man. A little demon. That's what he does. That's what basically what the, they're doing in they, they, society. They're just sitting in, in, in their secret places ready to take you down, man. That's what's going on in America, man. Mm-hmm. That's why America's go, going down the drain. Yeah. What do you think Trump is there for? He's doing the complete opposite of what he's Fool you dummies to, to to believe that he's gonna do make a great make a great no man Trump was made to to make America uh, uh, what's opposite of great desolation De- desolate, desolate man he's put there to bring the company down all right it's fired <laughs> like his old show you're fired mm-hmm. he's there to fire America man and it's been liquidated he's fucking up everything man all the whole world economy by putting these sanctions and regulations. You know, just he, he's purposely. I saw some a guy on him, an insider, saying he's purposely saying stuff on purpose to make people uproar. Right. He says stuff on purpose to make people mad. Yeah, yeah. He's a smoking mirrors man. Mm-hmm. So if he says some outlandish shit, you think that? Uh, remember, um, play with the pussy thing. Remember? Yeah, he yeah. Said you play with the pussy. You just grab a grab yeah. a lot of pussy. That was done on purpose, man. <laughs> that was put. That was told. He was told to put that out there. He was told to make that news and just, just, just you know. Yeah, it's uh, funny you said that because I remember it was something like, I think it was like NBC or something, where they were saying that they want to bring a chip out by 2017. And here it is, what, Trump came to office 2016? Yeah. Yeah, man, so. And it was already in the Obama plan already. Right. You know, so that chip's coming, man. And again, they they, they, they conspired the chip many years ago. Okay? This whole new world order was really started in 1777, right? Six, six yeah. 1776, and you can oh, tell by a dollar, it says it right here. Yeah. All right, in the Roman numerals, and on the pyramid on the bottom, that's the establishment of the New World Order. And they conspired at this throughout time because all you people in America are nothing but uh, lab rats and data. All right, and they came to the point like, look, we're going to bring this beast, man. So the RFI deep technology probably, you know, they came with that maybe a hundred years ago, or even less. Maybe let me be around technology when technology advanced. They had in their mind to, to to put the chip in you people, man. You know, which is conspired. And they're gonna, uh, what are, how are they gonna bring it to you? They're gonna deceive you. They're gonna be like, oh, it's, it's good for your medical records. It's good to open doors. It's good to, uh, 
Whatever, man. But at the end of the day, they can turn off your chip and kill you, man. And don't, people don't realize everything Esau saw do. I'm getting right back. Everything Esau saw do, it be, it's either um, what do you call that? Like, uh, damn. Every time I want to say something, I forget it. But it's uh, when something's taken back and like something's shipped out, mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's, it's it's defective. So the company takes it back. Um, recall. Yeah, a recall. The water. Yeah, like a recall. You don't think a recall is going to happen with these chips? There's always going to be some kind of problem, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not a recall. They're not going to take it back, but there's going to be some kind of problem. There's going to be infections in your body. It's not going to go with the chemistry of your body. Of course, yeah. You know, it's going to be problems with this, man. And, of course, like the, one of the videos that were posted, there's going to be people hacking it into your chip. You, you, hackers exist. They're going to hack into your system. You know, then you're gonna have to buy an extra something for your RFID chip security. to protect it. Yeah, you're, actually, you're gonna have to get security for your RFID, RFID chip. <laughs> you know, then it's gonna be probably RFID different protection. grades of RFID chip. No, this is grade one. This is grade two. No, this is grade five. So you know, it's all a fucking monopoly headache business, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, preach a few real quick. Yeah, this is second second Corinthians two and eleven. Let Satan should get an advantage of us. But we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, that's why he's going to get advantage of you. But not the elect. The, the elect are not ignorant to Satan's devices, man. The elect know about the mark of the beast. Adam Abbott. Well, what kind of name is Adam Abbott anyway, man? Anyway. <laughs> you know. The, the elect know about the mark of the beast, man. Right? We're not fooled by, by Satan's devices. Mm -hmm. By the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Hashai. Yahweh by Shema Hashai has, has woken, us, woken us up to this, man. You know, another thing we'll harp on is we pray that we still uh, are here. But that's what the hopeful elect are praying for. That the Lord does not take the spirit in us and he keeps us in this way to understand what the hell is going on. Because this this, this is over, man. You know, because all the other camps, GOCC, a brother, the guys around show me a, a picture. they saying that uh, the, um, the chop of Naptali is Japheth or something like that. Yeah, they're going yeah, I mean, they're, they're totally yeah. fucking they gone. They teach about mermaids, man. I mean, yeah. come on. They, they, those guys are, they yeah, teach the Filipinos pretty, are part of the tribe, too. Yeah, they're, sure. They're going. Those guys are bug outs. Anyway. Uh, April, this yeah. is the kicker right here. It yeah, says, Psalms 10 and 8. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret place doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. Yeah, you know what? I got to look at I gotta look at this. Look at, I think about Panama Deception. Oh, man. You know? I got to watch that. I haven't watched it in years, but... Those are poor people, and the way that America sees Panama by way of number one by Bush. Bush was a part of that, by uh, Noriega and Reagan, uh, Reagan. I think Reagan. Re was it Reagan? Yeah. Okay, Reagan, Nor uh, um, Noriega, uh, Pablo Escobar. Yeah. All those, uh, all those, all those drug lords, so-called drug lords, were set up by the, uh, America. Eventually, the elites uh, um, to 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 make money to fight the Contra wars against Russia, man. You know, to for more globalism. You know, but they use these guys and turn it back on them anyway. Noriega and uh, Escobar was just another Saddam Hussein, just another puppet, man. I think actually one of those guys were a general of the um, Spanish, one of those Latin armies. Mm. Either Lauren, Noriega or, uh, I think it was Noriega, he was actually a general, you know. But um, but anyway, the, the Panama deception goes into, there were poor people in America that just destroyed them out there, man, to seize that... Um, that that part of the land, you know, they want to control over there. I think the um, what's that? The uh, canal, the the canal, the canal, the Gulf over there, the canal, more control of it, you know, and and many other examples. Mm -hmm. It says he lied. That's another conspiracy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. come. On. This is Psalms ten and nine. It says he lied and wait secretly. As a lion in his den, he lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when when he draweth him into his net. Okay, and one of the ways he's going to draw you people into the net is, is by the way of this device called the RFID chip. Uh, well, hey, okay, the net represents the system too. Yeah, because remember the net. Yeah. If you look at your dollar, all right, there's actual web. Yes. You know, I'm not going to wow. show you. I mean, you just look at your dollar. You have it. I mean, times are so tough. Like, you might even have a dollar. But anyway. Hmm? You look at your dollars, there's, a, there's, a, there's webs in the back. That represents the system you're being trapped. And how you're trapped? By usury. And by debt. By debt. You're trapped in the system by debt, man. Right, that's why uh, Jake always say, 
I don't want to work uh, this. You know, I don't want to work my day off. But I'm trying to catch up on bills. It's yeah. always trying to catch up. On yeah, bills. it's never gonna stop, man. Right. I think the the definition of system is a uh, trap. Hey, trap, right? Trap, mm-hmm. yeah. Go ahead. Come. It says, um, tempers. He cr- he crouches and humble himself. See? Yeah. Like his his his, his uh. Like it says in Revelation we went through last week, he spoke as a lamb. Mm-hmm. Meaning he spoke in godly, you know, it's like uh, God bless America or uh, this this government is for the people. You people mm-hmm. make the choices. You people elect us. And you, if you elect me, I'm going to make sure mm-hmm. I cut your taxes. I'm going to make sure we fight against the banks. I'm going to make sure you get your jobs back. Don't you hear that shit every fucking four years? And what happens, man? Again, the brother from the New Jersey camp, I forget which one, I was, the, um... Well, the brother, the farmer, the farmer, brother, the farmer, I Shalama. Shalama brought in the fact, I, I forgot about it, man. He hit me heavy. He was like, yeah, since slavery, the so-called blacks own 1% of, of America's wealth. Now, current today, 2018, is only, so-called blacks only own 2% of America's wealth. So how the hell, how the hell has voting changed? Or you being part of the society helped your place in America, man? Now, if you would own 98% of the old, uh, America's wealth, then we look like dummies, okay? If, if, if so-called blacks were ruling America and we talk about, you know, this and that, then we look like idiots, all right? But we, we don't, man, because the Spirit of the Lord is, is bringing us out, and it was always written in the Scriptures, man, since the beginning. And we at the end of this. So, again, that last part. Come on, it says, He lieth and waits secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth and wait to catch the poor... He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. He croucheth and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. Come on, and he says something about speaking, right? Speaking in a certain way. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Speak it humbly? Oh. He speaks humbly or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. He, croucheth, he croucheth and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. That's the one you're going with? Is that speaking? Yeah, speaking. you said that's why I brought it up. He did what? a verse in there. Yeah, yeah. Alright, but yeah, but you know, he spoke as he spoke as a certain way, okay, uh, uh, that um, it tripped up the people, saying that you have power when you don't. Alright, what, what verse was that? Psalms what? Psalms uh, ten. Like like the like the the Marcus, the like the, the video was going into that, how how it's a whole uh, like democracy is real. Like your vote counts. Democracy is a, a supposed system where the people can vote for certain things that they want. But that's only it's a smoke screen, you know. Voting, your voting doesn't matter, okay. What proves that uh, the, the 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 presidential election they have something called a popular vote and a collegiate vote, mm. right? And mm. the states, each state has has like ten to twelve people that 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 put their vote in. So let's say that the overall vote, let's say is sixty thousand, mm-hmm. right? But if the it, it, no, let's say a, a vote in the state is like ten thousand. But the collegiate vote, all colleg- the, the, the collegiate vote f- for the opposite party, mm-hmm. they're gonna go with the opposite party, not the ones that, not the vote, not the people that voted for sixty thousand, you know? Okay, right, you because know? they always go like, um, what was that the um, what what, what do we call those votes? Oh, it's a collegiate like, vote. Yeah, collegiate vote. I'm yeah. sorry, yeah, it's the, the collegiate the, vote, the collegiate yeah. vote. But the one that really counts. Is the collegiate vote. the collegiate vote, but the electoral is what everybody do- right always wins, but the collegiate vote is really counts. Right, it's like the popular vote and the collegiate vote. Like a state, oh, let's say a state uh, uh, elects uh, sixty thousand people vote for Hillary Clinton, right? Mm. But the collegiate vote, they vote for Trump. The the the, the collegiate vote outweighs the the the, uh, the the people that voted for Clinton. So it's mm-hmm. a stupid system. Okay. Yeah. It's a system. Yep. Uh, again, um. So back to ten real quick. That was a yeah. The point was a humble. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. that was the point right yeah, there. Yeah, that was a humble. Yeah. All right, so um, because he humbled himself by his yeah, by his problem. false philosophy of freedom, saying that you have the power when you when you don't. So they tricked you. They deceived you. That was it. Okay. Um, you have something? And we'll finish off soon. Uh, the, okay, yeah, I have something real quick. Well, I think it's we have four. Yeah, something. Oh, I was going. Um, was that the one you're talking about? Which one? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is Ecclesiastes. This is Ecclesiastes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Twelve and fourteen. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. That's right. Yeah, that's the one I wanted earlier. Read that again. Come, come. This is Ecclesiastes twelve and fourteen. 
For the most yeah, high right, yeah. shall bring every work into judgment. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every work, whether it be, See? and that's what I um actually, uh, Revelation um it tell well, I'll get in a sec. Um, the reward, the yeah. Lord's gonna bring reward for the good, and for the bad. Mm -hmm. So every work, your works for good. Who are the works for good? The elect. They're the ones doing the right works, the righteous works. So the Lord's gonna have a reward for us, which is salvation and a crown. All right. Mm -hmm. But for the reward for the wicked. Is going to be destruction. The two thirds of the nation of Israel, they're going to be baptized by fire. They're going to be destroyed in this world and be, and be blessed enough to be born back in the kingdom because it's prophecy. But you're going to die here a horrible death, man. All right? And then, especially this, this so called white man, mm. all right? He, he, the Lord is exposing you. Okay, so again, it's a lot. Come, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 14. For the Most High shall bring every work. Into judgment, and, es and Esau's work has been nothing but evil. Uh, number one, def defacing the name, uh, uh, def defacing the image of the Most High and His Son, uh, convincing the whole world of their false name, depicting me, depicting the Most High Himself, the Creator of the universe, as as having leprosy. His Son having leprosy. Yep. Those are evil works. Of putting his hands on the apple of, of the Lord's eye, which is the nation of Israel, that's evil works. Uh, uh, um, putting slander against thy brothers, thy own, thy own mother's son, which is an Esau against the nation of Jacob or Israel, lying about who we are, our nationality, saying that you, you know how much, how many billions of dollars they spent to convince the world that they're the Jewish people, which Jewish is nothing but a that's what the hell is that, man? Okay, so those are evil works that's going to come into play. The Lord's going to judge you upon that, man. Mm -hmm. it's, it says, um... Destroying the world. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, the, the scripture says he can destroy them, destroy the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, world. Revelation. Yeah, 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 one of my favorite ones. Was it Revelation 18? Right? He that destroyed the earth or something like that? It says, this is Ecclesiastes 12 14, For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. Yeah, you're going to be judged, man, by, by way of nuclear, nuclear fire and missiles. But it says by every secret thing. Mm -hmm. So your conspiracy that we started the show with, which we went through, is done in secret. A, a conspiracy is not conspiracy. Conspiracy is done in open. Right. And you plotting. You don't know. No, conspiracy is something done in secret behind closed doors. Nobody knows about. It. You think Julius Caesar knew he was gonna get uh, uh something wrong with the uh, what? Frozen or something? Oh, yeah, really? Stupid thing. Is it froze? Stupid batteries, man. Oh boy. So I'm sorry. Maybe it's your internet. How long was that going on for? Well, I still see comments on it. I think it's, it's frozen now. Uh, you said it's frozen? Nope. I just clicked it. Frozen stuff? Yeah. Hold on, yeah, you can hear us, but you can't see us. Oh, for real? You can hear us? Yeah. Oh, man, Satan. Fucking Satan, man. Yeah, Let me fuck, this. fucking elites, man. Fucking tight. I can't even. I can't even.